today. Welcome to week four. Is that week five? We are week five? It's becoming, y'all. I'm excited. Um, if you have not been here, yes, week five of becoming. If you have not been here for the other four weeks, if you're new, welcome. How about we welcome everybody in the comments? Who signed this week? Who's jumping in with us today? Who's on here just signed this week? This is your first newbie circle. Welcome. Drop me in the comments. We want to shout you out. So excited to have you here today that you decided to show up for your business, not even knowing what in the world, but just showing up. And let me tell you, showing up is half, half of the battle. So welcome, Emily. Shout out to you. We've been in a, a, a it's an eight-week series about becoming. All right. Um, we do business in life far beyond anything you think or imagine. You think you signed up for a business just to make some extra money, but you actually signed up with a personal develop. You up actually signed up for a personal develop plan with a compensation plan attached. So literally, you're about to change your life in your pockets at the same time. Okay, you about to change your life and your pockets at the same time. Okay, so welcome. So excited to have you here. My name is Rachel Wiggum. You met me in the launch pad because you're legit. So you went through the launch pad and actually watched my little two minute video. Okay, but I'm Rachel Wiggum. Been doing this almost eight years, guys. This business brought, came to me when I was a single mom who was literally just graduated with a master's degree and was still unable to pay my bills, okay? A master's degree, unable to pay my bills as a single mother. My son was in private school, also in daycare, paying for everything by myself, and I needed help. I was back in grad school for a master's that I did not want. I was back in grad school for a master's that I did not want to collect the student loans in order to pay for my son's private school. I was just trying to find a way out this business found me at a rap party and I was, I don't know, I was leery. I never did any one of those network marketing things, but I heard of a story about a lady who was bringing in $15,000 a month. And that was enough for me. If it was a Christian based debt-free family owned company that with products that actually work and they're all natural plant-based, okay, non-GMO, because we have all the issues, not anymore, we rebuked that. We had all the issues in this house. Um, if it, she could make $15,000 a month, I could make 500. And what I realized as I came in is that I was truly able to help people change their life um, with a master's in professional counseling and a bachelor's in psychology. I desire to help people change their life. And this business afforded me the option to get paid lucratively for helping people change their life. And so I decided, decided to choose my heart. I decided, decided to choose my heart. Is this business easy? The work we do is easy. The mental work is hard. Um, but we're going to be a perspective shifter and we're going to say that it's easy. <laughs> it's just a matter of just keep swimming and allow things to work out because the Bible says that all things work together for the good of those who are called and love the Lord. Okay. According to his purpose, all of that. Yeah. And so I believe that I'm called. I believe that, um, you know, he's speaking directly to me. And so I'm going to invite you guys to come on that journey with me and just know that all things will work together, but it works together as you continue to move forward and every day can be day one. So welcome, so excited to have you here. So, all right guys, today we are going to talk about creating content for your target audience. If you have not created your person, I want you to drop in the comments. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's okay. Just go back and watch the older ones. Um, and there is a um, there is a playlist that you can kind of go through on your own time and just go through each and every one of them and kind of create your person. But I want you to drop the name of your person. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we are creating a person that is our target audience. Who do you want to impact? Who is the person that you desire on your team to help them change their life? Is it you? That's me. It's me. I want to change Rachel's life. I want to help Rachel know that she can do it. I want to impact a single mother who's 25 years old, who's trying to figure out how to get out of debt or really isn't even worried about getting out of debt because that's not a thing. We die with debt. Like, what are you talking about? I'm never paying my student loans back um, because I've created so many student loans. I have a master's degree and I'm still unable to pay my bills, but yet I am in a position to where um, I'm going to go back to school, right? I'm going to go back to school. So what is the name of your person? Give that person a name. And I've decided my person's name is Rachel. So the first thing, guys, today, when it comes to creating content, you have to know your person, like front and back. And sometimes I, I want you guys to think, and I was talking to the leadership about this today. 
Sorry, I don't have dry lips on you guys. I was talking to the leadership about this today. Could it be that the person that you're really looking for is not the age that you think they are? I don't want a 33-year-old Rachel. I mean, I'll sign her. But that's not my target. Because the Rachel that I'm speaking to is 25. Have you given yourself permission to not save your age bracket because you want to be saved? Have you given yourself permission to not save your age bracket because you currently want to be saved? Think about the pivotal moment in your life that you knew you wanted to change, but didn't know what to do. I want y'all to think about this. Think about that. When you knew you wanted to change, but did not know what to do. I think for me, y'all, it was before I went into my master's program. If I think back over my life, it was right before I went into my master's program. I remember I got my first check for my real job. <laughs> okay. First check for my real job, post bachelor's, had my degree. And I was like, bro, I can't even take my, my son to McDonald's and pay my bills and pay my student loans. That's not happening. This is suspicious. <laughs> like I went through all this school to pay them back money that I can't even make. That was the moment for me, but I went and got a master's. So as much as Rachel started this business at 25, I think the real Rachel that I'm looking for is 23. She's fresh out of college. And she realizes that her college education is not going to make her the money that she needs to live a free life. So in the comments, does that change your age of your person that you're really looking for? When you really think about that moment that you, that opportunity really would have shifted everything for you. Does the age change for anybody? Does it, is it a different age? Talk to me, be fun, be more fun if, if y'all engage with me in the comments. A whole bunch of y'all here. Way to show up today. Happy Saturday, y'all. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. So I want to give you permission. I don't care if you're 40. <laughs> I don't care if you're 35. I don't care if you're 28. You, your target audience can be your younger self. You are an inspiration already. You're going to show this person how they don't have to go down the path that you went down. But you got to be really clear. And this is this can be hard for some people, okay? Like, you got to look at yourself in your life. And some people will be like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go back to that person. But we're going to get healing and get free up in here. It might be when you first graduated from high school. It might be like, bro, I shouldn't have never went to college. I mean, you know, shout out to the college degrees. Or I didn't go to college. But I started going into the work field and... I was, I've been chasing the goose egg ever since. You know your story. It may have been when you got pregnant when you were 16. And it was like, in that moment, if somebody would have shown me this opportunity, I would not still be on the goose chase at 38. So what is your target age? That's so good. So write that down, guys. Write that down. And I want you to, it, I'm telling y'all, the deeper that we understand that person, first of all, a lot of us need to take the time to forgive that person. Because before we can understand her story, we have to forgive that we went through it. And that maybe we made some choices and decisions that um, we shouldn't have or whatever. But in this moment, we're going to decide that all things work together. And so it's, it's good. I don't know if y'all know that church song. I um, guess I'm going to start singing early. Okay. 
but it says it's good. It's good. It's working for my good. And so it's working, y'all. Like, regardless, it, he wants to work all things together. It's, it's, it's a biblical principle. It's, he's working it together. So even that is working for your good. So forgive that person that went down the route that did not get you where it is that you wanted to go. Forgive that person for whatever it is that's going on. Like in this moment, like some of y'all need to say, you know what, Rachel, I forgive you. I forgive you for chasing education. You didn't know no better. Rachel, I forgive you for chasing men or chasing <clears throat> a man, trying to change a man. I forgive you. I forgive you for trying to make a man be a man and take care of their kids because you can't do that neither. What do you need to forgive your, give yourself at that age for so that you can move forward and help her? Well, I can't say nothing because I did it. Yeah, yes, you can. Yes, you can. That's why you're here. That's why you're still here so that you can tell her, boo, you don't got to do that. I got something better for you. But until you face the reality of what you did, some of y'all don't even want to say he was pregnant in, as a teenager. <laughs> some of y'all don't want to say that, it, at the, I don't even know what's up today because this is not enough. Some of y'all don't even want to say that that wasn't your first pregnancy. So forgive her, forgive him, man, female, forgive her. Right now, okay, I'm, I'm, you gonna insert the blank, but we gonna all say it together. Say name, say your name, Rachel. I forgive you for, you keep talking, say it. I forgive you for blank. I don't, if you need to turn your camera off so we can't see your mouth because ain't nobody checking for you, but still. Say, I forgive you for, Rachel, I forgive you for, and some of y'all need to say it a few times. Hey, Rachel, I forgive you for that. Rachel, I forgive you for getting drunk every weekend, trying to chase some. I forgive you. I, I forgive you. Y'all forgive yourselves because right now, if you can forgive you, you can help you. You can go into the situation non-judgmental. When she comes into your organization and she's doing the things that you that you were doing, you're gonna share your testimony. And you're gonna move on and show her how to make how to do something better. And that's it. I wanted to say, and that's why Mary had a little lamb, but I was trying to help myself. I forgive you. I forgive you. So that's number one. I don't even know that forgiveness thing. Somebody just going to get free today because after you forgive yourself, you're going to release it and you're not going to nobody can hold it over your head anymore. The Bible says we're overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. A lot of people forget the word of our testimony part because you're embarrassed. Boo, you ain't the only one. It's it, one, one thing I realized as I was getting older is that a lot of people who are older than me, they've been through a lot. They just won't share it. And so that's why I still holding them down. They still walking around with all these secrets. Like it, 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 I think if you shift your perspective to understand that it happened for you and not to you, it changes your life. God allowed it for a reason. And if you can embrace the fact that it, it does not have any control over you, that we give it control by allowing it to stay in the dark. And that's deep for some people because it's like, Rachel, you don't know what I've been through. And some of y'all, I don't know. I have no idea how bad that it's been, but it's only holding you hostage because you won't allow yourself to be overcome by the blood of the lamb. He did that, he did it, he did that part in the word of our testimony. And that doesn't mean you have to go blast it on social media. I remember there were a few things that happened in my life. And I remember I won one thing particular, I was driving, it, both times I was driving. And I heard a guy say, tell you, you need to talk to your husband about this. Cause some of y'all got secrets and y'all husband don't even know. This is not, what are you doing? <laughs> this is not, what are we doing today? Come on, Holy Ghost, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> And it was like, no, you need to tell your husband this. That's going to fester. That's going to become an issue in your marriage. And 
So I, out of obedience, take a deep breath. <sighs> this happened. And it was like, oh, okay. How is he going to respond? And I was like, I didn't tell you to worry about the response. I just told you to be obedient and do it. And the response was actually so much better. It was so, like, how do I even view my husband? He was so compassionate. And so I don't know, it might not be your spouse. It might not be your boyfriend. It might not be, it, it might, it, I'm, I'm sure he'll reveal exactly how it's supposed to happen. And I think that's a, where a lot of people get it twisted. Like, I'm not ready to share this with social media. You, that probably shouldn't be your first share. <laughs> that's not your first share. I promise you it's not. It's, that's not it. It's not, that's not it. <laughs> mm -mm. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. That's not what I'm saying. But some of y'all need to get some things off of your chest. It might be a therapist. I don't know. It might start in therapy and then work your way to your spouse or whatever. And y'all, there's a lot of free therapists. Like that's that. there's a lot of free agencies that give this stuff for free. Going to therapy is, what are we doing right now? Okay, we're becoming. <laughs> Going to therapy is a healthy part of life. A lot of people cannot afford, or believe that they can't afford it, but you can. Everyone should have somebody to talk to. Everybody. I highly suggest finding someone with Christian values. My husband and I are so blessed to have leadership that actually have degrees in counseling. Like, or actually, like they have the degrees to match, which so that's just a double blessing for us. But if that's not your leadership and you don't have the capacity of that, I promise you they can connect you with someone who can help you. Y'all, Every in order to become, you have to be okay with the fact that everybody is going through or has been through something. You are going to be connected to some of the most broken people ever. And they're going to trust you with their brokenness. But you're not going to feel equipped to, to help them get to the other side if you're not willing to look yourself in the mirror. And I'm sorry if this is too deep for some of y'all. <laughs> but I want y'all to make money and keep it. And broken people break things. They break things. They break people. And then they're sharp. And what will happen is I will show you how to make an extra $2,000 a month. You'll do it. And then what will you do? Can somebody in the comments, what will you do? It's just, it's just two words. What will you do? Not lose it. It's not lose it. You will, you, no. You will break it. You will, you will break your organization single-handedly. And you'll be like, no, it's the people that was on my team. No, it's my customers. They stopped ordering. No, it's, it's, some, it's something else. It ain't me. It's not me. Not me. I'm, I'm getting better. I'm showing up to the meetings. I run my auto shit. Not knowing that it's so much deeper than that. You struggle with communication. You don't even communicate with your mama. You struggle with holding, you, you struggle with the, the, the power of your words. Every day you wake up and complain and speak life, speak death over your business. Every day. You complain about dishes when you don't have to have a sink. You can be at somebody's shelter, unable to wash dishes. You don't wake up with the heart of gratitude. And so as broken as we are, we are going to believe God's word <laughs> and know that we are nothing but clay that he's able to put back together again. And so coming to the circle will break you. I'm not going to lie. It's going to break you. Okay. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> but you have to get broke. As you make some money. Dude, what that sound like? You got to get broke as you make some money. But I promise you, as you get broken, I say give us a year and it'll change your life. I'm bringing it back. 
Give us a year. How many of you have been here less than six months and have gotten more than you came here for? Been here less than six months and got more than you came here for. Got more than what, even more than what you thought that you could get. How about that? More than you even thought or imagined beyond what you thought you came here for, right? So first of all, can I just encourage y'all and just right now in this moment, I just want to celebrate each of you all who've been here less than six months and are still showing up. And I want you to tell, I want to tell you guys that it's going to be the power of your obedience and your willingness to be broken. That's going to change your life. Be willing to be broken. If your enroller says something to you, listen to them. Be willing to communicate. Be willing to do the hard things. And the hard things may be going live for you. But for some of y'all, the hard things may be, um, I don't know, communicating more. And you've never been a communicator. Be like, girl, I just leave out the house. I don't even tell my husband I'm gone. That, that's not okay. <laughs> like, that's not okay. Just because it's how you've been doing things your entire life does not make it okay. And when you come into this circle, we're not going to allow you to be okay with the okie doke. No, you don't have to be perfect, perfect. We don't ask for perfection, but every day we strive for excellency. No judgment, no pride, no condemnation. But if you read our, our values, conviction brings change. The only reason we want you to feel conviction is so you can change and get to where it is that you're supposed to go. The only reason y'all, the conviction is to bring change, not to condemn you. And I know this world will try to convince you of that, but let me just tell you, you joined an organization that, that has decided, go, y'all, the stuff that's on the announcements tab in the Money Squad page is on purpose. Scroll down to the bottom of the Money Squad page uh, in the announcements tab. There's something that says Ambassador Diamond and Beyond. Go watch it. That was my moment of epiphany. That was my moment of submission. That was a moment of declaration for me where I decided, and we've been here since 2013. Y'all don't know, this, this, we got a little longevity in us. We got some roots. But that was the moment that I decided, I'm gonna do it your way. Yeah, I liked my way a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like it was a little chaotic, but we are gonna do it your way. And God's way, does not, does, hey, yeah, God's way does not make sense. Can I just tell y'all that? Like, period. God's way does not, it's not going to make sense to you. Why? Well, it don't make sense to me. I just don't understand. That's fine. Just be obedient. Who, who needed that part right there? It just don't make sense, right? I just, it, one plus one just does not equal two today. I just don't, I don't get it. So you're telling me it's not going to make sense. Can I just release you today? Like, it's not going to make sense. So while you're sitting here trying to, like, there will be logical things. I get, it's logical. I get it. And you have to release everything that you've experienced in the past. The, the, it, you might be experiencing it right now at your job. And so you might be distrusting of people because of what you, you experience in your employment. This ain't it, boo. Like, do not bring that job stuff over here and judge us based on your job. Or if you do bring it over, can you give us, give us the opportunity to show you something different? All right, so let's talk about this content. <laughs> Lord help us, I don't even know that was a sorry Lord. That happened last week, what y'all doing? All right. The better you know them, the easier it is to target them. The better you know them, the easier it is to target them. Oh, this business is going to make you look at your life, y'all. And if you don't look at it, you will run away because you'll never be able to inspire the person that you won't forgive. They'll get on your nerves. That Jesus. 
they will get on your nerves. Like, am I being real right now? Like, is anybody, you, you sign a distributor and they be, they get on your nerves because they you and you done grown a little bit. And so now they get on your nerves. You be like, this is Kelly just talked about this last week. You be like, get on your nerves. You, you, yep, you sure was lazy at that age. Yep, you didn't read directions. Yep, you was stuck in whatever your mom and them was doing. Like, yep, you was the one that cut the end off the ham and didn't understand why and still kept cutting it off. Yep. Now you got a little wisdom and you be like, mama, that don't make sense, just buy a bigger pan. Like, you got the wisdom now, but you can have it back then. And so now when they be over here cutting the ends off, you like, are you okay? Like, now you frustrated. Get to know her, y'all. And this takes, I'm not gonna lie, it takes work. You like, well, this, this is for your Jesus side. Get to know her. Be like, this frustrated me about myself, but I praise God for deliverance, but I understand her. Like one of the biggest things that I ever did for my life, y'all, and this is just for everybody. The one of the biggest things I ever did for my life was forgive my mom and my dad. Okay, I'm gonna talk about both of them. My dad passed away in 2015 during my presidential diamond run. Um, like abruptly like abruptly I was on the train headed back to St. Louis I was in Atlanta remember exactly where I was I got a phone call from my aunt I don't even talk to who the way she did it was so ratchet but and told my dad it just it died I had to forgive my parents and start to see my parents as people instead of my parents the most freeing thing I've ever done in my life was to see my parents as people that was the most freeing things I've ever done for myself. My mom had a childhood. Do I know what happened in her childhood? Absolutely not. And I probably will never know. Because it just started with the millennials where we're willing to share all our life. Yeah, it, it took Cicely Tyson 96 years to write her memoir. And I'm excited to read it. <laughs> 96 years. Like you've been in the spotlight for all these years. It took you 96 years. But could you imagine the life that she's lived and how she didn't want to revisit those places? And they, most of them won't revisit them. Boy, I can sit down and talk to my grandparents. I'm going to get the most superficial. My grandparents, I'm 33. My grandparents are just now, but I had to keep asking. Some of y'all, like, I, I know for me personally, like I found out my grandma died from cirrhosis of the liver but I, I didn't know the full details. Like my grandma was raised by her auntie because her parents were a hot mess. And so they feel like they're protecting themselves or us from not sharing the truth with us, but it's not free. It actually has us out here not understanding ourselves. And so I want you to fully understand yourself and be okay with asking the questions. I remember my granddaddy opened up, sorry granddaddy if you watch this later, about my grandfather being promiscuous. But most men were back then. They wives just stayed. And so here come these illegitimates. <laughs> that is a, that's a family joke for us. Illegitimates out here like, who are you? Like, what, was, what is this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So y'all, you have to get to know the person, but free those people by just seeing them as people and they did the best they can. Like we grown y'all, I don't care if y'all on here, you 18. Well, if you still live with your mom, but don't say that, like you ain't that grown. But you have to put yourself in a position to where you can just forgive your family, forgive them. Even if they never tell you sorry, forgive them. Because then you can become an asset to their life which is what God always intended for you. Some of y'all are going to bless. You're going to give yourself permission to bless the socks off your parents, your family, no holes barred, with no obligation of them giving you back. No obligation. And you're going to do it the smart way. You're not going to go out and get a car note for your mama. You're going to buy the car. Full out. 100%. Not creating another bill for you. So now you're frustrated with your mama because you, you take your bill. This My name ain't even on this. <laughs> you're not going to do that. But at first, you got to get to know that person. So 
get to know them. Okay, that's number one. So I want you to write this down, actually. So four, four things with creating content. Number one, know them. Have a deep understanding. So number one, for creating content, you have to know them. And honestly, y'all, it's like dating. You gonna get to know them. The more you let the layers fall off of you, the more you can get to know your, your target audience. Number two is to address their concerns and questions. The only way that you can address the concerns and questions of yourself at that age is if you allow yourself to empathize with that person. You're not their mama. This is what I would have did. No, no, that's not what we're asking. We're asking for you to understand them and get to know them. Because if you get to know them, like Rachel at 21, 22, I don't even know how old I was when I graduated. 23, 23. Rachel at 23 thought forever 21. The like I wanted some Amber Crombie. Like, I don't even know. Like it was like I wanted to shop at Amber Crombie, but I shopped the sales rack. You know what I'm saying? Forever 21 was the go-to, you know what I'm saying? Didn't even go into the department stores because ain't nobody spending, ain't nobody got time for that. Like I don't got that money. Mm -mm. I'm not even finna frustrate myself trying to find something. So get to know her. I didn't even know that I could shop at certain places and it will go longer. I waited for my seven for 30 from Victoria's Secrets. Like I was ready. Like I needed all these different type of panties. I don't even know. I, I thought it was cute to pay off debt, but I didn't think that was me. Like I, did, I, I, I wasn't there yet. I didn't need to be there yet. That's something you do when you get old. You pay off debt when you get old, not in the midst of it. So get to know that person. Don't be her mama. You're not her mom. You're not her daddy. Okay, listen. You're not her mom. You're here to get to know her. And if you can get to know her, you can address her concerns and her questions and she will literally gravitate towards you because you answer her questions. Who listened to their mama when they was that age in the Target? None of y'all. Don't be lying. Not one of y'all. So do not. And then when she come into business, please don't be her mama. Okay. You are not Captain Sabum. You're not. You're not here to save her. You're here to inspire her and provide her with the content that she needs to choose to change her life. It's a choice. She gets to choose it. All right. So number two is address concerns and questions. This comes from awareness, <laughs> discovery, comparisons. So have you ever seen a this or that? Have y'all ever seen that? So, and I mean like a comparison. So like somebody who, I'm gonna go into the fashion, fashion. Like I'm gonna, to give you guys an example. Um, this would be like somebody who has a budget of $30,000 and somebody who has a hundred dollar budget. She wanna look like the 30,000 with the hundred dollar budget. So can you like, let me, let's, let me move this over to the business. Can you show somebody how to really show? Cause we're gonna go to this next. Well, I should maybe go into that. Oh, no, I'm not gonna do that. So can you show her a com comparison or him, a comparison of how they can effectively run this business with no income? Can you show that? How do you build a million dollar business with no income? How do you show that? So what comparisons can you show? We're going to get more into showing it. You want to encourage the sale. And guys, you have to make it easy. Well, she wanted, she'll click the link. That's not thinking like a business person. You want to make it accessible, very, very accessible for people to buy things from you. And then you want to teach it. So let's go on to number three. Number three is show, not tell. And I'm, just, I'm switching over the, the address of concerns because I want to tell you, this, this show, not tell, will change your whole life. Stories sell. How many of y'all came here and stayed here because of a story? 
me. How about this? Drop me in the comments because I know it's a lot of people on here. Me. I did. I mean, it was me. It's, it's me. It's me. It's me. Oh, Lord. It was me. Me. I, I came and stayed because of stories. It was the stories for me. It's the stories for me. It was the stories. If you know that, why don't you tell your story and share other people's stories more? I don't even, don't even answer that. Today, you are going to tell your story and share your story. Y'all, if you can, every single day. I have, I have potentials who can tell me stuff about my life and I'd be like, yeah, mm -hmm, show share that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but they continue to follow me because they're inspired by my stories. I want you to be able to know that I had a baby at 18. I got pregnant in, in high school and I don't even share that part enough. And my, my, my 18 year old self, when I had that baby, didn't know what I was going to do. But now I have a 14 year old who will graduate from high school next month, next year, next month, Lord help me, next year, if I let him. I want you to know I started a business with no experience at all. And I, may, I made a million dollars. I want you to know that I was a single mom that was the hottest of hot messes. And I don't know if I wanted to love my husband or slit his throat. And he still married me. Won't he do it? Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Wiggins. I want you to know it. Because if God can do it for me, he can do it for you. Like if God can do it for me, he can do it for you. On every, every, listen, cause I'm smart. So I was on, I was a single mom who utilized every um, help I could get from, from assistance. I didn't want to stay there though. So I released it all, but I used it all until I was able to release it all. I was on TANF, I was on food. Some of y'all don't even know what TANF is, but I was on it, okay? Let me get all of it. And, and can you imagine being on all that assistance and actually finding this business in the midst of that and getting free while my benefits was still there? I ain't gotta buy groceries right now, what? Pay that to some debt, like what? Instead of buying a new car, like riding around in my hoopty, until I can get free and then buying a house. That's what this Rachel can teach that Rachel. Can you imagine that? Ah, this is a good question. I'm gonna answer this and then we'll keep going on this show not tell. What if you are concerned that your story will bring shame for the moment to your super Christian family? Okay, I was gonna give you a Rachel response and I'm still gonna give you a Rachel response but I'm gonna put a little disclaimer out there. Pray about it and ask God for the release. Pray about it and ask God for the release. He will give you discernment. But all I keep hearing is Eric Thomas in my, in my head. Y'all, they gonna be pissed. Your freedom is going to piss people off. Your freedom is going to piss people off and make themselves look themselves in the mirror. I'm sure there's been many times that my mom has looked at my post like, really? I'm sure. When I talked about the fact that I was a teenager who grew up in an abusive household, who was the one being abused? All of us. But I had to pray about it and get my freedom. And when I got permission and I and if I felt the conviction where I needed to say, hey mom, 
you know, I'm walking in my freedom. Or, you know, maybe you need to black your mama. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. God will tell you how to do it. And I would even put your Christian in quotation marks. Because when the set says, sun sets free, is free indeed. And so maybe there's certain areas of your story you're not able to share yet. I know um, Tyler Perry, there's some things that he wouldn't share until his mom died. So God will give you the discernment of what you can and can't share. He will give you the discernment. You just have to be willing to listen. But you're not, you're not out here to please other people. You're out here to please God. And that is not permission to be ratchet, okay? I'm not giving you permission to be ratchet. Because he does everything in decency and order. There is no confusion when it comes to him. That's the enemy, still kill and destroy. So he'll direct you on that, but everybody's not going to be okay with you being free. And that's not why we're here. We're not here to please other people. We're here to please God. And believe it or not, after they get done being pissed, it may inspire them to want to be free. It, hey, when I sit down with my family, y'all, when I sit down with my family and I hear about how my willingness to go towards true freedom has opened them up to wanting to be free, to talking about the financial hardships, to talk about the debt, to talk about like things that they've been, they've swept under the carpet, like under the rug. How many of y'all parents still got debt? And I mean, a lot of it. Drop a one in the comments if your parents, you know your parents have a dumb debt, like dumb debt. I mean, like dumb debt, like for real dumb debt. That won't be my story. My kids won't grow up trying to pay my debt. That won't be my story. And you get to decide that. I want to be able to help my kids. Okay? I'm the bad. You don't need to go to the bank. I'm the bank. How many of y'all right now, if you needed a financial blessing, could go to your parents? How about let's switch it around. Who wouldn't be, drop a two in the comments if you can't call your mama them if you needed a thousand dollars right now. Drop a three in the comments if you needed a, a co-signer and your mama couldn't do it or your parents couldn't do it. That's why you're here. Now, that might not be your story, and that's fine. But a lot of the people that you encounter, that will be their story. Get to know your person, y'all. Story sale. Stop, and I, I, I talk about this over and over again. You have a story. Y'all, the mere fact that you started a business is a big deal. Most people don't even start the business. They never start. You are a business owner. That's a big deal. Do y'all know in traditional businesses, it normally takes five years for people to make a profit? If you've sold one sample or you've made your money back through your sample selling, you are a successful business owner. Do not despise your small beginnings. There is somebody out here itching for a way to get a $15, $20 notification on their phone. Especially when they be on it all day and night. <laughs> Ain't making them a dime. Can't even pay the bill, okay? Mom, can I get 20 on my phone bill? Like, bruh. <laughs> They're gonna get so much when they come to this story, this circle. So show, not tell, stories sell. Show, not tell, stories sell. There is something that I wanted to specifically, let me find it. Show, not tell, stories sell. All right. I wanted to share some statistics with you guys. It says studies have shown that 65% of people are visual learners. 
of people are visual learners and 90% of the information coming to the human brain is visual. 90% of the information coming to the human brain is visual. As our attention span has become shorter and shorter and we expect content to be designed and structured to be skimmed through and not read. Did I hear that? The readers are like, <laughs> mostly yeah. Drop one in the comments if you never finished a book before you came to it works. <laughs> yeah, just be honest out in the streets. <laughs> Unless it was a ratchet novel. How about that? Now you're going to put your one? <laughs> says the goal of content marketing is to ensure that your content is diverse and that your written material has visuals to refer to to make the content more engaging. Show people versus telling or explaining how to do people, do things. So for example, why does, it says that this is where the art of storytelling comes into play. This is reels, this is TikTok. This is instead of telling people how you made something, showing them. And yes, this takes more, it, 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 you think it takes more work, but it, it really doesn't. It's just being more conscious. So when I'm making my lunch, it's, these are my ingredients, like showing, and I may talk over it, but these are my ingredients, and then showing the process, and then showing the end result. Why do y'all think as kids, they had us do show and tell? <laughs> you could get up there and be like, my dog at home, my dog's name is Sugar, she white. You had to bring your dog to school so they could visually see it. I mean, you couldn't bring your dog to school. You know what I'm saying? It's that family. Show and tell. We're taught that at an early age. So you want the products, show and tell. I don't care if you just rocking one product. They need to see it. Y'all, do y'all know when y'all get on live? They ain't looking at you. They looking at your products. You be like, well, I just, my hair, girl, they ain't even studying your hair. I done did, I did, I'm, I'm Team Bonnet Chronicles, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'll be the secretary. I ain't the CEO, but I'm, I'm the secretary of Bonnet Chronicles. They wasn't checking for my, my Bonnet. They was checking for the products with a hole on it, okay? They don't care about that. Show and tell. All right, and number four, y'all, is trends. We've come to the end of it. You cannot be out of date and irrelevant. You either have to latch on to the trend or create one. And most people ain't out here creating, so latch on to what somebody else has already created. So that whole, I'm not doing that, or that's outside of my comfort zone, that leaves today. Can I help y'all? <laughs> How many people in here got kids that are middle school or older? Drop a two in the comments if you got middle school or older. How about that? Drop a two if you got middle school or older. I don't know, it might even start in fifth grade. I don't know because I don't know nothing about age le levels. So forgive me if I'm wrong, okay? If I did not include you. When the new math came out, drop a three in the comments if you felt some type of way. Don't, don't be lying. Don't be lying. It might be fifth grade. So maybe you got a fifth grader too. I don't know. They might just do it in fourth and third grade. I don't even know. Y'all felt some type of way. Ain't no y'all. I felt some type of way. <laughs> Why did I feel some type of way? This is good. Why did I feel some type? Actually, I'm not going to answer. Why did y'all feel some type of way? Can y'all drop it in the comments why y'all feel some type of way? Yep, made me look dumb because it was new. Yep, what, what other reasons? Why did you feel some type of way? Incapable, yes. Felt dumb, did not make sense, yes. Because the old way is better, see stuff, yep. <laughs> it wasn't how I did it, yep. What's wrong with this? Uh, yes, what's wrong? If the system is not broke, why are we fixing it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Seemed like more to do. Seemed like it. Yep. Had me confused. Felt slow. This is good. How many of y'all was over there trying to teach out kid the old math while they teach you teaching them the new math? 
well, this is how I did it. So here, this this way I'm, I'm going. If I if you want the answer, then we finna do it this way. Who who felt that? Y'all made me want to. Come on, TikTok. <laughs> who felt it? Did you get the translation here? Now all y'all, now y'all, first of all, how many of y'all kids, how about this? Drop, because I only want y'all to answer. If your kid has been doing the new math for at least three years, drop a one in the comments. This question is for you. If your kid has been doing the new math for at least three years, drop a one in the comments. Yes. How many of y'all kids is, drop, okay, so out of the ones who dropped the one, drop a two in the comments if your kid is killing it. Like, they be like done with their homework in like five seconds. Like, two, drop a two in the comments. Now, with your raggedy self, if you would have learned they new math, you would be able to do math that fast, but you out here with pen and paper like five plus five and seven, eight, and carry the one and it's two. And your kid can do it just like this, right or wrong. You have to be okay with the new trends, even though that's not how you were taught, even though it's different and uncomfortable and you're learning something new. That's a part of becoming. Who? And going back to the grandparents, I love our grandparents. I always get it twisted. Love them. I love our seasoned community. But I'm sure Cicely Tyson had to release what she knew and walk into stuff that she did not know in order to excel at 90 years old in the field that she was in. She probably was like, boo, I've been in, I've been doing this forever. Like, how are you gonna tell me how to remember my lines? I bet you she wouldn't have been making no movies. Or she would have probably been, been in less stuff. So today's the day to be okay with the TikTok. And you might start off, it makes me think about blitzing. You might start off with just putting some pictures and old videos that are in your phone. But eventually, you're going to have to learn how to dance like nobody's watching. And just be you. And then, after you're, you're dancing like nobody's watching, offer the opportunity on there. Take the steps to follow the trends. It's not a question of whether it works or not. Your kid's math works. They get the answer, and they get it 10 times faster than you do. So it's not a question whether it works or not. It's not a matter of does going live work for my business or not. It works. Oh, Mary had a little lamb. I'm, I'm doing a TikTok today and I'm gonna say, and that's on Mary had a little lamb. And it's gonna go viral on y'all because I'm following the trends. I'm gonna do the one Brittany said do. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run to the end of my driveway and run back and say, and that's why Mary had a little leg. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna tell her. And I'll be like, and, and I'm right before that, I'll be like, and if you wanna make extra five hundred dollars a month, drop Mary had a little leg. I'm I'm doing it. Come on, Black Diamond. Okay, like I'm down for it. I will not be the raggedy old person, and I'm talking about myself. I'm not gonna be the raggedy old person. We'll be like, I've been here eight years and in 2013, I just went and blitzed people. Like, girl, hush. That is centuries ago. Almost a century. Okay, listen. Who Lord. Almost a century ago. And you trying to tell me about what you did a century ago. Baby, get it together. I love to dance. So if they ain't dancing the way that I'm dancing, maybe I could just mix a little bit of they dance with my dance and then they think I'm hip. But I'm going to follow it. Listen, we set trends. But the only way to set trends is if y'all willing to even learn what they, y'all, you got to catch up to set a trend. Can, that was for somebody. You got to catch up to set a trend. Catch up. Because they got to want to watch you. If you don't, Anyways, I believe God will help us when it comes in that area. But that's one of our values, innovation. We are innovative. And so don't be afraid to be you. 
don't be afraid to be you. But the first thing to do is go back and get to know the person. That's that's number one. So that's everybody's task for the week. I want you to, to, to truly, deeply understand that person that you are wanting to meet in Target. And I bet you, as, as we go throughout these weeks, your, your stuff is going to change. Your, your, your content will change because you're freeing yourself. Somebody, I, I really feel that somebody, you are not their savior, y'all. You are not here to save them. You are here to inspire them. The only way that you can inspire them is to forgive who, what was and walk into what is, what is going to be. Forgive what was and walk into what, what, what is going to be. You cannot help somebody get free when you won't walk in your freedom. I'm hungry. Do I hear my stomach? Lord, help me. <laughs> walk into your freedom. That is walking it out. And sometimes in order to walk it out, you have to turn around and say, hey, this happened, but it's not my life. This happened for me, not to me. And you will not convince me that this happened to me, but we're gonna turn around and allow it to work for me because I'm not what I did. I'm not what happened to me. None of that matters in terms of where I'm going, aside from it being information that helps me become better and strive towards where it is that God called me to be. So, um, y'all, I'm praying like I who becoming becoming who is becoming. Somebody drop in the comments. I am becoming. Drop in the comments. I'm becoming. I'm becoming. I'm, I'm becoming, and I'm gonna become until the day that I die. Give yourself permission to never stop becoming. Give yourself permission to never stop becoming. And I even feel this like you'll get to a certain point where you, I may not be necessarily targeting Rachel at 23 anymore, but I'll have a 23 year old who is, or somebody else who will take that place because God has moved, called me to inspire a different age bracket of Rachel. Do you get what I'm saying? After that release, I may be in place where I'm 40 in this business and I'm inspiring. God has placed on my heart to, to, to help the 30 year old. The 30 year old who's finally decided to get their life together. I might be called to that place. The 30 year old who wants to keep up with the Joneses. But unfortunately, 21 through 29, jacked your life up. Anybody 20, 20s jack their life up a little bit? I don't know. It might not be no 30 rows on here. From the parties to the spending to the Lord, to the meat, to the, to the relationships. All of them. So, you know what I'm saying? God will call you to different things at different places. I'm praying, y'all. We off here. I'm excited, y'all. It's the end of the month. It's going down. We got the $39 codes out. All they got to enter is winning. So, you need to talk to everybody. Go talk to your person. Go live when you get off of here, okay? And talk about how they need to come into this circle and become while getting the coins. Become while getting the coins. Like, become while getting the coins. Do not be afraid to open up your mouth and talk and allow God to move through you. Stop being afraid to share your truth. Like, ask for, just before you hop on, say, God, give me the wisdom and discernment and tap me on the shoulder if I'm doing too much. Like, give him permission before and just go and do it. We got promotions happening. Robin is 130 from getting her $5,000 bonus. Is she going to be the first one? Because it's going to be many of y'all. Honor your Sabbath. Take your day off. Like, do not, this business does not, um, it, it does not work into, it work, like, how do I say that? Um, you don't work God into your life. You allow God to be the center of your focus and this business works into your life around God, okay? So keep your day off. I don't care if you're off on Sunday. Ain't no switching it up because it's the last day of the month. No, take your day off. Work your butt off, okay? Work your butt off and allow him to bless your six, okay? Let him bless your six. I know, Rachel, I never took a day off in my life. That's fine. It's new. Be okay with the newness, man. Be okay with the newness, okay? Be okay. That It can be different. But don't be out here trying to one plus one carry the five and you out here wondering why we going faster. Rachel, how you go faster and you take a day off? I'm going to tell you, just listen, I'm number 56. Shout out to the squad. If you went on conference last week, we're number 56. How are you number 56 and I tell my team to take a day off? How'd that work? 
Yeah, be obedient. God is doing something special in this season. So I love you guys. I'm going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we just love you. Oh, we honor you today. We thank you for being so miraculous. We thank you for being our God. God, I even feel in this moment, just forgive us. Forgive us for the mindsets that have kept us hostage and have we have allowed it to keep us hostage. Forgive us for the things that we have been unwilling to forgive, whether it's our parents or things that have happened to us in our past, God. Right now, we release it to you. We release it to you. And we're just asking you to come in and just shake us up, man. God, we're giving you permission to come in and shake things up. And a lot of times it feels like our life is falling apart, but it's actually falling together. And so, God, we walk it out. We walk by faith and not by sight. And we believe that all of your promises are yes and man. And you only have plans to prosper us, but not to harm us. And we're going to walk in that expectation as we go forth. And so, God, I praise you for every person on here who's going for a shopping spree, who's going for a $300 bonus, who's going for a $5,000 bonus, who's going for a reload, who's going for a $10,000 bonus, who's going for their first distributor, who's going for their first sale. God, I'm asking that you encourage their hearts and minds right now that they know that their family is not their target audience. So they could care less if their family is coming into their products or coming into their, their content because they're not their target. And so God, help us move forward to the person that we are intended to bless, the people that we are intended to touch their lives because of our story and because of our journey. So we just praise you in advance and we love you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Bye, y'all. Happy Saturday.